Wednesday, August 19th, 2020. Good afternoon from Europe. Good morning, good evening, guys, whatever you are. Piotr Fields Live for us, Global YouTube channel. Five minutes towards the US cash open. And this is the US cash open market update. Uh, quite a few things already happen. Um, well, it looks like we got the chance to have a very interesting US session, especially the second part uh, of the US session with the FOMC in place. But before we go um, to check the details, risk warning as usual, guys, please bear in mind, trading on margin car is a high level of risk may not be suitable for all investors to consider a loss, of, a loss of some or initial investment, please. Please do not invest the money you cannot afford to lose. Seek education, gain experience before risking real money. However, past performance doesn't guarantee future results. All right, guys. Uh, so um, first, I apologize that it's still um, uh, without the without the webcam. Uh, still post uh, the, 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 my weakness, right? Post the sickness. Uh, well, I'm not feeling good, not feeling so comfortable. So I'll try to get back uh, as soon as I can. Anyway, uh, what's uh, behind us? Well, UK CPI. A little bit stronger what market was expecting, 1% versus 0.6 expectation, 0.6 previous one, uh, year to year. Core CPI year to year, also stronger, 1.8 versus 1.3 uh, market expectations, 1.4 previously. But um, to be honest with you, when checking the cable, uh, okay, we hit new high, but we hit new high during the... Tokyo hours, right? Then we've seen only weakness when it comes to the pound. Weakness continue and um, the New York session pound open and as the weakest within the G7. Now we are trying to get back. What is uh, important right now? Where we are fighting, right? We are fighting a, around this swing high upper shadows. Uh, we've seen, as you can see, uh, we've seen uh, attempt to go lower. Uh, retest uh, some um, some levels, right? Uh, the previous swing high uh, breakout. Uh, so that's quite important, and that's quite important where we are right here, right now. I'm going to try to also because of is the weekly. I'm going to try to expand the line over here, and as you can see, that's a crucial levels over uh, over here, right? Maybe I can do it even like this even better. So that's the crucial level and uh, well, as long as above 31.85, the higher levels possible. But we have to get second day in a row, uh, the daily close above uh, as discussed yesterday, uh, to get some kind of the confirmation medium term. So it's going to be very, very interesting, especially that uh, two hours ahead of the uh, New York close, we do have FOMC minutes. So for now, pound is the weakest within the G7, but trying to hold uh, important levels when it comes to uh, when it comes to them uh, intraday trading uh, and this 3185 also visible here from the uh, intraday uh, intraday perspective well I'm still negative when it comes to the pound and I think that towards the end of the week uh, we might see the upper shadow but I'm I my intention is not to buy us anyway anyone everyone has to do uh, his her own research and homework guys so well you know, do your own research. Anyway, then uh, during the European hours, so we got a European final CPI and it was in line 0.4 uh, year to year core 1.2, uh, exactly what market was uh, expecting. So uh, when it comes to the Euro pound, uh, Euro USD, I'm sorry, uh, compared to the cable, as you can see, we, during the Tokyo session, we didn't manage to make new high. So that was the thing which influenced the uh, euro pound. We've seen a um, huge pullback yesterday towards the Friday low, right? Uh, retest during the uh, Tokyo hours and finally the, uh, the recovery. So again, the levels uh, close to 0 .9, uh, 0 0.90, 15, 0 0.90 proved to be a good um, buying opportunity. Congratulations to something we discussed yesterday as well. So basically, based on the, based on the uh, numbers, uh, 
we got from Europe, um, well, mostly I would say in line with a little bit better when it comes to when it comes to the uh, UK number, but uh, pound didn't react. Uh, I would say pound uh, weakened after that. We are going to discuss uh, also Canadian CPI within the second, but first thing first, US cash market is open and we are going to check where we are from the first five minute trading range. Basically what we want to do, we want to create trading plan, intraday trading plan uh, for NASDAQ, right? We need the range at least half percent during the first five minutes. But anyway, of course, uh, we've seen the fireworks yesterday towards the end of the day. Very, very strong uh, rally, very, very strong close. That's the weekly open. Uh, new high. Well, basically, it's going to be very soon. It's going to be soon. It's going to be very, very uh, interesting. Uh, so maybe new high today and some kind of the rejection based on the based on the uh, trend line uh, through the tops through the previous stops right uh, anyway that's what we are going to see uh, of course the breakout right of course the breakout here that's the crucial level and that's something we discussed yesterday uh, as well uh, and of course the weekly open but crucial here is the broken swing high and uh, 11 uh, somewhere something uh, below uh, 11 280 okay that's the crucial when it comes to the uh, to the nasdaq and to the eventually to the any kind of the bearishness okay we are trying oh sellers are so active at the very beginning but of course a lot of things to do from the uh, bear side so plenty of uh, plenty of uh, stuff to 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 to, to do well this weekly line 11327 and of course the one discussed Second ago. Mm, levels close uh, to eleven to eighty. Right. So let's check how wide the range is for now. Thirty-four. Uh, still one and a half to go. Um, well, a little bit too tight. Let's have a look three times. Well, three could be. But with 50, it could be the double the initial range, right? With 50 uh, points uh, of the initial uh, trading range that uh, two doubling down could be enough to hit the uh, 11 to 80, right? That's very interesting. Uh, so monitoring um, this uh, uh, trading range, uh, switching to the USD CAD uh, because of the Canadian CPI. So it, uh, it was the day uh, today with the CPI. Uh, so UK, Europe and uh, Canada, uh, the weakest uh, came out from the Canada month to month uh, zero versus 0.4 expectations uh, year to year 1.3 versus 1.6 expectations uh, the previous one revised down to 1.4 uh, also the core cpi month to month minus 0.1 when it comes to the canadian dollar of course then uh, crude oil inventories uh, within the next hour uh, might be crucial as well so what is going on when it comes to the canadian dollar uh, well uh, maybe we are going to do one to one with this in place with all this equal wave, so we might hit 130, 129.50 with the stop count below this low over here, right? What happened here is that we are fighting right now around the latest weakness over here, right? Uh, that's the zone. Uh, and we 
have nice setup here. There was an attempt to go higher post the weaker uh, number, but uh, the bears are taking over for now. So from the bulls perspective, um, 31, 30, 29, 50 as a key psychological levels. If somehow market is going to manage to get back above the weekly open blue dashed blue dotted line, right? Meaning that we might activate the demand we've seen before, right? So uh, it's at 30 to 70, quite long distance, uh, 140, uh, 140, so a little bit more than 1% to the upside, but never say never. Say never. Uh, sellers, on the other hand, uh, are around the Monday low and just uh, around the, as I mentioned, a weekly open. So we are talking about the levels close to uh, 31.90, 32 and 32.70. That's how I see the things when it comes to the USD, uh, USD cut. As you can see, uh, post, uh, post CPI attempt to go higher, huge engulf right now, making the lower new low for a uh, for a day when it comes to the uh, usd cut uh, and it's uh, stronger uh, if you like canadian dollar i would say that uh, australian versus canadian dollar also looks uh, interesting uh, after the uh, the fastest the latest trend line being broken and the levels close to 96 looks juicy uh, from the uh, attempt to, um, sh to to try to the short side with the 93 as the first target and 91 as the second target watching very carefully the development uh, development uh, here uh, when it comes to the opposite side uh, strong candidate um, uh, to the uh, to the selling uh, Canadian dollar Canadian JPY could be the case and uh, either with the break of psycho break and close uh, daily close below psychological 80 or with attempt to rally towards 81 and the failure meaning that we are creating some kind of the upper shadow but close below the swing uh, high previous swing high right so that's the canadian dollar post canadian cpi let's get back to the nasdaq strong uh, attempt to recovery uh, so that was the opening two, three, four, five. First five minute trading range. Third, uh, so it was 30, 34, 35. Poor, poor trading range. Uh, we discussed yesterday the possibility of the uh, another target to the upside when it comes to the Nasdaq close to uh, 11,500, right? Let's have a look if uh, doubling that range is enough to see 11,500. We have to triple that range to meet the target eventually. Okay, I'm going to look for the uh, market reaction just above the pre-market high, somewhere here. And if we are going to go strongly higher, another level to watch is going to be the target from the selling perspective, from the buying perspective, uh, either 11,320 or 11,280 uh, levels uh, to, to buy when it comes to the NASDAQ. Guys, it was my pleasure to make this update. Plenty of things going on. Uh, FOMC this evening uh, so fireworks are coming don't forget guys it's Wednesday midweek reversal or continuation stay, stay tuned don't be trapped I'm around if necessary I'm going to make another update post US cash close take care goodbye